Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. Now let's study the line spectra of hydrogen. So line spectra, let's study the emission spectra. So when the electrical discharge is passed through a gaseous hydrogen, the hydrogen molecule dissociate and the excited hydrogen produce this radiations of discrete frequencies. If you see, only this particular guy is visible, black one. Apart from these are not visible, they are not visible, only these are visible, right? And all these spectrums, right? Balmer, Lyman, Passion, I'll show you, they are named after their discoverer. People who discovered, they named it after themselves only. We'll study all this, but the way to do is, you just take a hydrogen gas and just pass it through electric, and then the, they got excited, they get excited, and when they come down, when to the, example, these electrons, once they are excited, right, when they want to come down to their uh, natural state, the low energy state, they emit spectrum of photons. And please note here once again that the Balmer is the only visible radiation and as that makes sense, right, since Balmer is the only visible radiation that was the first to be formed. So let's study the Balmer. Balmer was a scientist in 1885 with the experimental observation. He, he, he observed that if the spectral lines are expressed in terms of wavelength, then the visible line of hydrogen spectrum will be the formula. This is the formula uh, where my wave number is r into 1 by n square minus 1 by 2 square. This is for the visible thing because for visible I know that my final is 2. I'll, I'll show you what. So you have this is second orbital. You come from any other orbital what and you will see a Balmer thing because that is the visible thing. So in, in, in the Balmer thing, we'll take it in the next few slides that there is something called when the electron jump, there is something called uh, initial and n final. For Balmer, the final is always 2 because it always comes to the second orbit. Correct? And it obeys the formula, wave number is 1 by lambda, that is nothing but r into 1 minus 1 by n square minus 1 by n square. So this is something which always obvious. Right? So the series of lines described by this formula is called Balmer series. And they are the only lines which appear, which are visible. And please note this formula is derived empirically using experiments data available at that point of time. So he did a lot of experiments and with that he found this formula. Then came the Redberg. He noted that he gave a general formula actually uh, where all series of hydrogen spectrum could be described. So in, in the Balmer series if you see only n is equal to Two, where the destination, the orbit is two, was described. Zidberg gave a general formula where all the spectrum could be described, and for this formula, wave number is nothing but one by lambda. That is nothing but r into one by n square minus one by n two square, where n one is my source. Sorry, this is my target. And my source. Yeah, this is my target here, and this is my source here, right? And if you see here, the value of R is the same thing which here used it's called Rydberg constant for hydrogen. And this, please note, this is value is true only for hydrogen. Don't use for any other metal. And the first five series, which for n is equal to, for example, two, we have seen that was for Balmer. So this is true for Balmer. For n is equal to 1, it became for Lyman, for 3 became Passion, and for 4 it becomes Bracket, and 5 became Piffin, because these are the people who found this. If the target is 1, that is they are coming to first orbital, they call it Lyman, if it is second orbital, they call it Balmer, third orbital is called Passion. We will see this in the next slide actually. And again, please note, this is also from the experimental data at that point of time. 
So we'll see overview of that. So the line spectrum of hydrogen, we have something like this. This is the visible one, and this is Baumann. Then we have Paschen, bracket P1, Lyman. They are not visible. Only Baumann is the visible one. And we see the way it works is, if n is equal to one, that means my target is one. It is jumping from any n n equal to infinity, six, seven, five. It is coming to one. That series is called Lyman series, and there is generally ultraviolet, right? n is equal to one is ultraviolet. If it is coming to n is equal to two, it is visible actually, visible light, and it can come come from any place. Right? It will be different colors. Can come from any place. If it's coming to n is equal to three from any uh, higher orbitals, this is called Paschen. This is infrared. If it is coming to n is equal to four, it is also infrared. It is coming to n is equal to five. That's also infrared. That's how we saw. Here also we see. If you want a clearer view, if it is coming to n is equal to one from any place, it is Lyman. If it is coming to n is equal to two from any higher orbitals, Baumann. It's coming to n is equal to three from any orbital. It is Paschen. It's coming from n to n is equal to four from any higher orbitals bracket. It's coming to n is equal to five from any higher orbitals p point series. That's how they have named the series. And the series are based on the. They are all of the people who found this series actually. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.